Hi guys, in this video I'm just going to briefly talk about the different ways that you can use sound in Android. Now depending on which method you will want to use will depend on uh, certain factors um, but the first method that we're going to look at is uh, Soundpool. Now Soundpool uh, can be used for applications or game game apps that have lots of small sound effects. So just as, as, just as an example, if you think of um, if you think of the game Candy Crush where you get all the little popping sounds and the explosions and and the whooshes you hear when you complete um when you complete a level or when you're completing a level, that would probably be ideally handled by uh sound pool. Because all those sounds that uh all those sounds that you hear can be played simultaneously all at all at once. So you have lots of different sounds all going off together. And also you want the response times to be quick. So if something happens in your app and sound is is associated with an action or event. You want the sound to be played as quickly as possible. And because with sound pool the sounds are all decompressed and loaded before use, so the res response times are, are relatively quick. And there are limitations um, when it comes to using sound pool such as uh, the, the the size of the of the sound file. So you don't you don't really want to be using anything larger than one megabyte for each sound and depending on the file format and bit rate um, Generally, you don't want to be using anything over 20 or 30 seconds max, and but I don't think that there's any um, official documentation on limitations, so it's so uh, well not that I could see anyway. So it's almost a kind of suck it and see experience. So you may need to experiment with file sizes and and such. So but exceeding these the, the limitations will sometimes give errors if you're lucky. And you'll and you'll probably you might find that the sound won't won't play entirely. When anything over one megabytes, you might find that the sound only actually plays about five five seconds worth of sound. <coughs> if it's say say a twenty or thirty second file, you you probably find that you'll only actually hear five seconds. You won't get an error either. Um, but sample does allow you to change volume levels um, on on multiple channels and adjust the pitch of the sound and you can specify how many uh, maximum sounds that you actually want to play at any given time which will be uh, set here um, and you can make the sound loop over and over again which is I believe this one here um, this setting so uh, so sample does actually give you a certain level of versatility uh, should you need it now the second method uh, let's have a look what we've got a second method is our media player and this is probably the easiest way to uh, to set up your code, and and it can play large files, and it's good for uh, if your if your app is background music music perhaps. But the only downfall with with media players is, is you get a, a slower response time, and if it's not handled correctly, such as if you don't if you don't release the app, if you don't release the sound properly, I mean this is a crude this is crude setup, but if you don't release the sound um, properly, then you can end up using high high amounts of resources so uh if you do, but you don't you don't get the functionality you get with with sound pool but essentially media player will simply play it will play the sound um you generally you generally don't get the issues associated with sound pool either so because sound pool can can get a bit buggy sometimes and you may need uh code to debug and resolve those issues <coughs> there is there is a third option that's called um audio track but um, just for the sake of simplicity, I'm not. I'm not. I'm just going to stick with the sound pool and media player. Now these are just um, these are just samples of media player, and and um, and sound sound pool. So what I'm going to do is is create uh, separate videos, which will go over exactly what's going on, what exactly is going on, um, with each line of code. So you'll have a better understanding of exactly what's happening. Well, that, there'll actually be three videos, and one one's for media player, one would be for sound pool, and there's one for for um, this one here, sound pool builder. Now, because as of um, API 21, the introduction of uh, Lolli, the version of Lollipop, the sound pool constructor has been uh, deprecated, but that doesn't mean that the old way won't work. Um, it will work for years probably. But Andro what Android have done is they've added. Uh, additional functionality for devices that use API 21 so I'll be going over that as well so, so there's actually going to be three links the 
bottom of the videos and they should take you to each corresponding video. Okay, thanks for watching and subscribing.